Hey guys, Kate here with Rise and Shine Wood Signs. Today we're actually venturing out into a new product that I want to incorporate into my paint parties and as an option for you all to uh, do something more fun and exciting. So today I'm making a welcome mat and it actually says welcome-ish, depends on who you are. So right now I am just realigning some of the letters that kind of got misplaced and now we're working on getting it uh, aligned to the mat correctly and we're going to go ahead and start peeling off some of that transfer tape and taping down the vinyl to make sure that it holds on to the mat correctly and it's not moving around because as you can imagine the mat material is a very dense fiber so it is uh, it doesn't really hold this the vinyl very well so I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the transfer tape and then add some tape to the designed to make sure that everything holds down really well. Some of those letters do seem, to, the little inner pieces of the W and the O and the E tend to come up a little bit, um, but that's going to be fixed here in just a moment. You'll see actually what I do to help combat that. And I am actually adding painter's tape to the incomplete um, edge of the sign just because the paint that you use does tend to bleed. So I want to make sure that that painter's tape is there to protect the edges. Now I'm actually using my Cricut heat press to kind of shellac the vinyl down onto the mat just to help everything stay sealed down and it just helps kind of press it into that fiber a little bit instead of being so loose. So now I'm just working with a few letters that the pieces in the centers came out and I'm going to go ahead and get painting. Um, I did actually have to switch brushes here because the one brush I had, the bristles were a little bit too long and it wasn't really working for what I wanted to do. So I went, went ahead and grabbed a different brush with shorter bristles that allowed me to really work uh, the paint into the mat. So I'm actually using an acrylic paint and I was terrified the entire time that I was making this project that it was going to come out just a hot mess. Uh, this was actually my first time making one of these mats. So I was really nervous that everything would come out looking crazy, but it actually uh, came out really good. I'll show you guys that here and just the end as soon as I finish painting. I did do about two and a half coats of paint. I did buy the large bottle of acrylic paint at Walmart just because I didn't want to spend an extra, you know, two, three dollars on two or three little bottles. Instead, I just bought one big bottle. I will say I probably did use about a quarter of the bottle on this design. Um, I am just adjusting a couple of the letters that seem to come up. So I'm just kind of holding that little piece down while I work. And again, with a second coat of paint to help that just get sealed on there. I was really scared that this was going to bleed really, really bad, but I will tell you, if you just move that brush up and down in a straight up and down motion, do not lean the brush. It does have a tendency to bleed if you do do that. As far as I've seen on other YouTubers, they've all recommended that you just keep that brush in a straight up and down motion while you're working. And it really does actually turn out really perfectly. Um, I did worry about whether to peel the stencil off when it was dry or when it was wet. I've seen people do it both and they let them dry for 20 to 30 minutes. Me personally, I don't have the patience to let it dry to see if, what my design is going to look like. So I go ahead and rip that off. As soon as I finished my basically second and a half coat of paint, I wanted to make sure that I had all of the little pieces moved back and forth. And as you can see, I am just kind of moving that brush a little bit um, back and forth. I'm kind of working it into the mat where I see a few open spots. So other than that, we are going to be ready to pull this stencil off here in just a moment. Look at those crisp lines, you guys. <laughs> it is crazy how easy these are to make. I cannot wait to do these at my paint parties and to give you guys some different options. I look forward to all of the really fun designs that we can come and work out.